Good evening, brothers and sisters, and Father God and I welcome you here this, this evening, and it's a little later in the day than I usually come and share from his word and a uh, reflection from a heart that has been given to me from our Lord. Uh, so it is into the evening, so I, I'm hoping everybody has had a wonderful day and it's been smooth. Uh, the Lord has blessed me greatly today to be able to be out amongst uh, others that I just share the walk with. And he has brought me into just embracing um, a reflection from his word, uh, what comes from John 13 verses uh, 34 and 35. And let me read that to you before I share a little bit about where he's moved me to come and open this up to you. It says, I give you a new commandment that that you should love one another just as I have loved you, so you too should love one another. By this shall all know that you are my disciples, if you love one another. That just speaks to me greatly as I read that because, you know, relationships are definitely a, a gift from God, and he brings us together to have these wonderful relationships to form as we spend time together we share with one another we interact with one another and sometimes these relationships that we are in a walk with each other they could be wonderful when they are going well and then there can be uh, challenges that come along that makes it uh, a, a little bit not so smooth to navigate through but either way relationships are given to us to uh, be able to share what has been given to us and that is love so today was just a wonderful day for me because I was able to share the love that God gives to me to other people that I was around and then as I depart and come into this time in the evening as I reflect on this day as what has been given to me I know that um, I could not love everyone without my father being in me and that is the way it is with us as his children we have been given this love and we can share that with other people and it's just amazing i know in proverbs seventeen seventeen, uh, a friend loves at all times we're able to do that because god has given us that love and he gives us that power that is what is so beautiful god empowers us to be able to share this love and that that just moves me not just in excitement and in in my being but it just stirs within my spirit that i cannot share that enough with people so my encouragement today is to do what jesus tells us to do and that is to love everyone and we can reach out to those that we have not connected with and have developed a relationship with but we can take the opportunity to let that relationship form and reach out to those that may not even know the love of God and share it with them in your actions um, of what you do and how you speak to others will certainly witness to them God's love and that is a command that he gives us and you know Jesus set the bar pretty high for us because he wants us to have what is best for us and i believe when we hear john 13 verse 34 this command uh needs to be carried out and we definitely need to be open to that and do what the lord commands us to do and it's to love to love i give you a new commandment that you should love one another just as i have loved you so you should love one another we cannot do that in our own strength but our God has empowered us to share this love with each other. And we receive great joy when we're connected with others that can share that love back to us. But a lot of times we may not be able to receive that back, but we are still to continue to love one another. And, you know, as we said, um, you never wondered what's the best way to tell someone that you love them is just to reach out to them and live out a selfless life of just continually sharing that love and there's times we have to make a sacrifice in order to that love to get, continue to flow and we put others first before ourselves and so i'm just sharing that where it went with me today and as i said uh, the Lord's blessed me as he does every day to interact with 
many people, but today I was able to do visits and I was able to be around others that helped lift me and encourage me and be open to learning and being able to just fatherly go in and serve Father God in this ministry. So it's been just a wonderful day as many of us know that every day he gives us we can rejoice because the Lord has made it. Let us pray. Father God, we're so grateful, Lord. Thank you, Father, for this time that you've given um, given me to come and share from your word, Lord. Because, Lord, we know that from John 13, verse 34, that, Father, you have empowered us to show this love to other people. Because the love has been given to us. And, Father, we know that in Proverbs 17, 17, uh, a friend loves at all times. Lord, we love through the bad as well as the good. And we stick, we stick, we stick stick together lord so father we thank you for the relationships that come into our path and oh lord we just thank you father we cannot praise you enough and we know that the bible father speaks of much about relationships with family and friendships partnerships uh even romantic relationships father the bible the bible shows us father um uh, about relationships that are so much a part of the walk that we're in today as it was then with your people and Lord, we're just so thankful that, um, you know, we can um, we can be uplifted from one another, Lord, when we come together. And Father, we know that sometimes things can be hurtful when things go wrong in relationships. But Lord, we know that we have been given the strength and the power to overcome and, and to allow uh, restoration to happen, Father, through the Spirit. So Father, we just praise you and thank you and continue, Father, to God us and lead us in your Spirit to love those that we encounter lord and to reach out to all of those lord that are in need of knowing that they are certainly loved as you have gave your only begotten son that um, he went to the cross for us all father so we could have a relationship with you and father we just thank you thank you father for the wonderful gift of life that is given to us through your son jesus so father we praise you and glorify you in his name amen Bye-bye.